Oh my god, who is that? Assalamu alaikum my beautiful people, it's your girl Amanda and I'm back with another video. I miss you all so 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 much. You know Ramadan has just passed 2024 and I decided to take a break this month to really dig deeper within myself and work on myself so when I come back, I come back a better person. You know Ramadan is only one time a year and I wanted to take advantage of the opportunity so yes. And I'm back. I just feel much better and that break was needed. In order for me to grow and excel in life, I have to take the time to pour into myself. And I felt like this month was a perfect time to do that. This is me right now, messy eyebrows, natural face. This was me literally the whole month. I didn't do anything, I just stay in my natural state. And I love that. But I did do a lot of preparing. I did do a lot of planning. Baby, just wait and see what you're gonna see because baby, we good. Yeah, like I'm really gonna, yeah, like, yeah. <laughs> As you can see, I added two little things to the top of my wall. I'm gonna make my room be a little bit more modern or like beautiful in my eyes, you know. Um, I might add like a LED light here, I'm gonna see. As you can also see in the back, yeah, that's a whole tissue box because I was sick. I was sick for a whole week in Ramadan. I think it was last week I was like super sick, sick from the masjid. I'm guessing there was a girl who was next to me who was like so sick. I'm talking about like, baby, uh, get, get from around me type of sick. But she was next to me. She got me sick. Yeah. yeah. But I did a lot of shopping. I did so much shopping, guys. Like, just wait. We have so many new things coming for So Royalty. Like, I wanted to model our new scarves, but baby, the eyebrows. So I'm waiting until Ramadan is over to... You know clean it up and do what we gotta do also gonna release some new abaya dresses i have this new dress called the aisha dress i'm gonna put it on the screen this dress is absolutely oh my god i love it because it has the hijab attached it's very simple and cute and ready to wear like the first thing that i got was this jacket this is a jacket i have been wanting like a denim like long line jacket for a long time but i couldn't find one but this one baby get it to the fit it's giving really snatch slim weight it's giving what it's supposed to give you know what i'm saying like i'm really feeling it like yeah like ha. right here is giving very much you know like don't get too close baby don't get don't get too close you know <laughs> it has that little detail right there and i like that i've been wanting like a cute brown jacket that i can just wear and i really i found many pieces like I'm talking about like online. I can't remember the brand names, but I found some like online and they were cute, but they weren't that cute. Like this. I feel like it's feminine. You see this little fluffy sleeve thing that's going on. I like that. And then you can tie it and you can make it look more snazzy and jazzy. I think it's really cute. It's different. I don't have anything like this in my closet. It's gloves. Yes. Yes. I got some gloves. Um, how you do it? Yes. So I'm gonna be like how I picture it, the heavy jewelry with the glove like this. And if I can get like a Dior or Chanel brooch pin, brooch pin, that's what it's called, right? I can just put it right there and then just make it look expensive, you know? I got this belt. I've always wanted one of those belts, you know, one of those cute really belts. So I got this and it's cute. I really like this. I don't have nothing like this in my closet. I only have like designer belts. So for me to have something different, I think it was cute. I'm also getting ready for Eid. I'm going to be having two looks for Eid. I'm going to get my makeup done. I bought this one particular dress and I was going to wear it for like this promotion video. But it was just so nice. I decided that I'm just going to wear it for Eid. It has so much embroidery rhinestones on it. It's just really different and I love it. I want to show you guys. If Eid has already passed in. This is the dress. The whole month of Ramadan, I was getting up, shipping orders, shipping orders, shipping orders, shipping orders, shipping, just working. Like, literally. Even today, I have to work. I want to give a big thank you to everybody who has been shopping with me on my website, soulroyalty, S-O-O-Royalty.com. I appreciate you. We have been working to ship our orders every single day. If you have any questions about your order, feel free to email us. Email information is on the screen. Or you can DM us on Instagram. And we will provide you with an update on your order. If you have any questions about restocks and stuff like that, you can also ask us and we will let you know. But yeah, y'all. Yeah, so this is me. Feels so good. 
I just want to say that Ramadan is just, alhamdulillah, I believe that every single human being on earth should participate in Ramadan and you will find the real, the true blessings, the true essence of, of having faith and having Iman. Islam is just, I can't imagine a life without it. Alhamdulillah for, for faith. That's really just how I've been feeling. And Alhamdulillah, baby, we are hijabi. I'm a hijabi now. What's up? What happened? I'm gonna continue vlogging. We're gonna I'm gonna take you all with me. We're gonna talk, we're gonna chat, we're gonna do what we do. And I'm gonna go continue working. I'm gonna Hi guys, today is the day before Eid, and I'm gonna take you guys with me on some Eid prep things. So the outfit for today is suit. Um, this like great top. It's like a shirt, but I'm wearing it like a covering and then I have on some high-waisted light wash jeans and I got on some like basic jewelry so yesterday I got my henna done at the masjid literally outside the masjid I didn't plan on getting my henna done but um, I was offered to it and I was like you know what let me do it so I got some black henna I'm from Sudan and this is just what we do black henna is just what we do I am trying to decide between this scarf which is like this red, you know, very long, beautiful pashmina. I love this. Oh my God. This gray sparkly one. I was going to wear this one, but I was like, I'm wearing a lot of gray. I didn't want to be too matchy matchy. I got these magnets from Amazon and these are way better than the sheet in ones. Like the sheet in ones are like cheap and they don't last. And I lost all of them. So I got these and these are so high quality. So this is the gray sparkly one. It's so cute. Like I like it. I like it. I do like it. I'm gonna just wear this one because this one, if I had a black shirt under it, it would be like better, but not today. Not today, not today. Let's get into it. I have so many things to do today. Baby, I'm looking bald. Like we gotta do what we do. I would put on some lashes just so it can like even it out, but I don't wanna get no glue on it, you know, from the yeah. So I'm gonna get my nails done but like i haven't gotten my nails done in months literally like because i stopped wearing nails um but baby i'm gonna bring i'm gonna get some nails for e like, i only have on one ring this is a tip if you go anywhere like to get a service done like your eyebrows or your nails and you go to like a shop like you don't go to like a, a person who does service privately i highly suggest don't go over there looking too snazzy too jazzy too beautiful because they're going to try to up the price a set that they do for $50, they're going to say, no, baby, 125 You got all that gold on your fingers and stuff. You got some money. Give it to me. So I'm trying to keep it as minimal as possible but still be cute just because I want to feel cute. But I do not want to get overpriced. Without further ado, I'm going to be taking you guys with me, inshallah. Let's go. Get into the eyebrows. Eyebrows is done. They kind of look a little black. I don't know. As time goes, it's gonna fade. Yeah. But I'm about to go get my nails done now. And yeah, so let's go. Yeah, we're gonna get my nails done. It's so beautiful, Amanda. Yeah. So, yes, guys, um, I didn't take, I filmed a little bit on my phone, but I didn't vlog that much on my camera because it's heavy. Get into the nails. Get into the nails. I'm gonna go home now after a long day. It's 9 p.m. Eat is tomorrow morning. I gotta figure out some things about my makeup yeah, appointment. Cool. It's kind of loud here, but I'm gonna leave. I'm gonna go home and I'll see you guys. Bye. Bye. So anyway. I'm home and look who came to see hi. My baby. Yes, his name is Baby. I've had him since 2017. I had he was like a little kitten. We got we adopted him when he was like three months. And now he's like big and huge and just is it? Yeah. I'm literally so tired and exhausted and just feeling like you know how it is when you first get your nails done and it's like it's just like <laughs> But I'm gonna do a quick haul for you guys and I'm gonna unwind and get unready and take a shower. So all I did today was when I left the house I, and I brought my auntie and Abaya for Eid because she needed something to wear and I gave her a dress for my new collection which is unreleased yet. I wasn't able to take the pictures because the package just came in. And then I also went to the post office really quick, dropped off some orders. And then 
I did my Neely's nails. Went to my other auntie house and gave her an abaya. Then we went thrifting, just some last minute, just to see what was in there. I found this straw bag. I love these straw bags. I have like one. Um, and it's a whole different like material. It's a little bit more high quality than this. But this was only $3. You can picture this at the beach with the nice little sandals on the floor with like a gold watch. You know, like just the aesthetic type of vibe. So I got this. And it actually has someone's name on it. It says Christian. So shout out to Christian, honey. Shout out to you, honey. I got your purse. Okay. I bought this scarf. Okay. I'm a sucker for glittery scarves. I don't know if you guys can see. Can you see like the shine? After that, we went out to eat, baby. When I tell you I will never eat Applebee's a day in my life ever again, no. I'm not going to Applebee's. I haven't eaten there since 2018, since like high school days. So for me to go there, I'll see you all tomorrow. Bye, guys. Happy Eid, Eid Mubarak. We're kind of late to the prayer, but yeah. It's so many people. I wasn't expecting to like see so many people. They're praying now. So I'm not trying to like talk too much because they're praying. So. It's recording? Assalamu alaikum, my beautiful people. Eid Mubarak. I hope you all are having a lovely Eid or have already had a lovely Eid. It's your girl Amanda, the one and only, the one in the flesh. And this is the outfit for today. Um, I actually have two outfits, but this is one of them. The rhinestone bedazzled embroidery abaya this is the jewelry we got gold on one wrist ice on the other wrist can, you, can they see that they see it we got gold on one wrist ice on the other wrist and yeah so it's blinging on camera it's blinging so i just want to say i appreciate every single person who supports me who watches my videos who tunes in because in in real life it's just kind of weird you know it's weird when you like see people and it's just like the energy just I don't know but I'm really nice and all I want to do is spread love and be kind to people and don't make it bigger than what it is because some people it's just it's just it. spreading good vibes positivity this is the look this is the outfits get into it <laughs> but yes y'all I'll see you guys later and yeah this is my E at a park I don't know if you guys can see so we're at a park, it's just a bunch of Muslims here. They pray, they have like a bouncy house over there. I'm over here by the playground with the kids. <laughs> it's just me and my twin. She looks so beautiful and gorgeous. Guess who got their makeup done? So this is the look. It's like a natural vibe, but I'm not gonna lie, I feel like I look completely different with makeup, like a whole different person. So, I'm feeling the gold. Today was a great day. My good love here. I was actually going to wear my other dress that I have, but I said whatever, just take just just take the pictures in these and then you can wear the other one tomorrow or another day inshallah. But this camera is good. Look, look at the trees. Ah, the view is just subhanAllah. Look at the creation of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Just gorgeous i just feel so blessed to be alive to be here to have the makeup done to be here to have the makeup done to be up. <laughs> i'm kidding but i need to eat something i made some tiktoks posted some video took some pictures did what i had to do spent time with my family and inshallah now i think today is the end of my day this is my eat i didn't really record because the breeze is beautiful the dress is beautiful um i low-key wish i wore another color but everything still looks absolutely gorgeous and i'm not gonna lie i regret my nails i regret my nails i don't know because you know you never know when you're gonna when you're gonna pass away and i don't want to die with nails like i'm not gonna lie you know so but i'm gonna take these off inshallah in a few days because i didn't you know like honey time for me to head home and yeah you guys wanted a full view of my dress this is my dress very you know <laughs> so this is how it looks it's very nice black the back just has that one little dot there 
very shiny and beautiful and just yeah and everyone this year has literally gone the simple route like i see everyone like wearing simple clothing and i'm sitting here with <laughs> you know <laughs> it's like over the top i don't know but available now so royalty soo royalty.com this makeup like i low-key want to keep it on like i'm not ready to take it off and this is how i um wore my hijab in the pictures because i wanted to like cover my neck like i didn't want to like show my neck too much but yeah i think i'm just gonna take everything off and just unwind and relax because today was so hectic hope you all had a blessed eve i'm loving this makeup so much though they gotta go but okay bye what's up y'all i'm getting ready i'm already ready I'm about to get ready to go out and take some pictures in my new hijab that I'm about to release. So yes, I'm feeling cute. I have on, I don't know what I'm gonna name them yet, but outfit is so cute. I have on a basic black dress. And yeah, so this is the look. I'm gonna take pictures in all the scarves and get to work. Just took some pictures. We just witnessed something so crazy. Well, I'm gonna tell y'all once I get home. I just finished taking my photos for my brand, Soul Royalty. <sighs> I just feel like I need to give a lot more credit. I need to give Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala more, way more credit than I already do. Um, you know, when I was buying these, you see the background. It's so beautiful. I love it. You see the three gold things in the back what made me buy it was i wanted to change my background i felt like my background was a little bit childish not really childish but like i'm i was starting to outgrow it really quickly just because it was like so much pink and yeah i said i want to go for gold like i love the color gold i wear all gold jewelry all the time so i said let's go for gold and i looked up some islamic calligraphy so i decided to buy this and the thing was i had two choices it was either i can buy this or buy some like basic plants, gold, um, you know, like it's still cute, but this was just like next level, you know, because it has like the words of God. And I chose that because I just feel like I need to give a lot more credit than I already do. I'm a human being. I'm forgetful. Um, but one thing I really try to stay away from is arrogance. Like who am I to be arrogant? You know, like, you can't be arrogant if you're going to die. You got nerves to be arrogant and you're going to die? Like, <laughs> that doesn't make any sense. I want to be humble. I want to be uh, the person I'm meant to be. That means that I still have a lot to change within myself. And I'm, I'm willing to do that. I'm willing to do that. I know this is my journey. This is like, I want to say maybe phase two, step two of Amanda's life. Today I was reminded that my God is great. You know, while I was on the way to go take these pictures, why did I see something catastrophic? Tell me how um, I'm at the light, at the turning light. Uh, well, I'm actually, you know how in an intersection there's like two lanes where you can turn? I'm, I'm going straight. Tell me why the person across the street I was about to turn at the intersection, ran the red light, you know, jumped in front of a whole bunch of like line of cars. The light just turned green for the other side of the intersection. They jumped in front of all these cars that were coming and uh, drove. And like when they skirted off, like I heard the tire screech. Then I heard like a boom. They crashed like not even 10 seconds later of them running the red light. And how they crashed was they, they hit like the curb, the side of the curb. And I knew like nobody in their right mind is going to just like do something like that. So the police came dashing like right after like they were close. The, the police turn on their lights to try to stop them and the person continued to drive away next thing you know i'm i see four or five police cars dash down the street i'm like what did i just witness this now this person is on a high speed chase because they ran a red light it starts with the small decisions and emotional and self-control the key and mastery that you need in order to achieve your dreams and your goals and to live a whole life you have to master your emotions certain things that happen in our lives that may affect us they make make us feel a type of way but one thing that has changed within me since i got closer to allah subhanahu wa ta'ala was i don't stress over little stuff anymore like i don't i'm not worried about that you know like it's deep it's bigger things in the world than me to be 
caring too much about something that's small. And I'm too in the world, you're going to stress over small little things that shouldn't be stressed about. You know, and um, I really hope that person is okay and whatever they're going through, they get through it. And I hope that they're still alive because running from the police, that's not nothing you want to do. Trust me, honey. It's not. You already know the hijab is from So Royalty. I enjoyed this talk. Today I had a productive day. I shipped orders. I didn't go to the post office. I'm going to head there tomorrow. Um, I took my pictures from my brand. I read. I ate. I went for a walk. I did great things today. So when you feel like you are compelled to do something different or make a change in your life, listen to that feeling. Because every single time that I have listened to that feeling, I have received great outcomes. And I'm sure that once you start listening to that feeling, you will receive great outcomes as well. I truly feel that I am compelled to dedicate my life to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. This is why I changed myself so shamelessly. I was able to move on from my past. I was able to let go of the old people that I used to hang out with. And that's just simply because um, Allah grant, Allah grant, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala granted me the strength to do so. So for any woman who's tuning into this vlog, tuning into this video right now, and you're probably feeling like maybe you wanna get closer to God or maybe you wanna get closer to Islam, I'm here to tell you that just take that leap of faith because one thing I was shown repeatedly over and over and over in my life was that nobody will love you and be there for you like Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will be there for you. Everyone lives for themselves. Like if we're just being honest right now, like everyone just thinks about themselves and lives for themselves. But and I and that's cool. But like me, I really want to like help people on a deeper level. I want to be able to impact people on a deeper level. It's not just about the glitz and the glam and looking cute and the dressing up nice. No, it's way deeper than that. It's about giving and, and providing value and, and making people feel loved, heard, and seen. Speaking the truth and most importantly, always reminding people of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala of God. This is what I really feel like... Um, we as human beings should should always do achieve greatness achieve goodness in our lives this this and i feel like another thing is that this can only really be achieved if you submit yourself wholly and fully to god to allah subhanahu wa ta'ala now baby my whole change was a transformation okay <laughs> my change was a transformation now that i'm looking at it, i'm like dang like my eyes like i really see how far that i've came and that's only because of Allah. Like, it's only right that I give him the credit. It's only right that I mention him as much as I do. Um, no matter how many people it may aggravate, no matter how many people may not like it, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, God, is the truth. In order for you to do great things with your life, you need him. You can't, it's like, there's no, that's the thing is, is that there's no strings attached. You know, there's no strings attached to just submitting yourself to god there's only good strings attached if we're being honest you know, allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gives you an opportunity take advantage of it you know don't waste your life if you want to do something great with your life then do it just act on it now forget about what people will think about you forget about what you know your family members may say or what your spouse may say or your boyfriend or your girlfriend or your husband or whoever you have in your circle so what they're gonna talk regardless today was a wake-up call for me hey y'all get into the look is given. I went for a natural look today. Feeling really cute. Yeah, this is my favorite color. Into the view. Like, I love living in Florida. Florida is the place to be. But yeah, so I'm about to get some content in. And I'm probably going to go out to eat as well. But I'm feeling it. You know how we do? Hey guys. I am ready to go to the beach. We are gonna go to the beach and play volleyball. You know, like have a little beach day. So I'm gonna go there with my friend India. You guys have met her before. We got Kitty in the back. Kitty! So let's go. Outside her house waiting for her. Outfit for today, I'm just wearing this brown cap, brown scarf, brown bodysuit, black pants. Yes, and I'm going to the beach. This is the bag. I'm wearing this beautiful Gucci. Let's get into So Royalty Beauty's new body sauce. This is the packaging upgrade. So before we had the normal oil dropper, and now we have like the um, the pump. So all you have to do, 
all you have to do is just press the pump and then the oil comes out that way i feel like this way is much more um convenient to use makes it easier to use less mess because you know with the oil drop you gotta open it just, you know it's a lot of work so smells so good this is one of my favorite scents this is cucumber melon y'all make sure y'all go ahead and shop and get yours right now the packaging is beautiful quality i'm big on quality i'm big on customer service and customer satisfaction so please be sure once you receive your order contact us leave a, give us a review and yeah let's develop a very beautiful relationship inshallah so yeah but i love i love this body sauce thing that i came out with um we actually have bigger bottles we also have different option sizes this is the 50 ml and we also have 100 ml so 100 ml is like way bigger than this so once that is released you guys will know yeah guys i really just been focusing on myself and my business and my relationship with god and just doing what i need to do um, I came to the conclusion that nobody's going to come to save me. Nobody's going to come and, and do what I need done for me. So it's only right that I focus on what I need to focus on and take my life to where it should be. So, yeah, get into the body sauce. Get into the body sauce. Make sure you guys go ahead and shop right now. All natural ingredients. It contains coconut oil, jojoba oil, avocado oil, castor oil, vitamin E, and the fragrance, of course. I forgot my camera. <laughs> we're so, so hot tan. and sweaty me too but now we're gonna leave we you do look a little hours. tanner now yeah, too I look yeah. darker. I'm gonna go to the nail shop yeah, I'm gonna go see my man she said she's gonna go see her man my husband she's gonna go see her my 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 fiance but yeah her fiance she's gonna go see her fiance yeah but the my beach on Sundays is, Sundays is nice <laughs> So we're gonna leave. What's up y'all? Today is Monday and I'm ready to go to the gym. Gotta get my workout in. I just renewed my membership. I was going to my local gym, but I said no, nah. we decided to renew my membership today and we're gonna get the grind in. So today I went to the beach. I really wanted to vlog so you guys can see, but I forgot my camera in the car. Like so right now I'm about to go to the post office and then I'm gonna head to the gym, come back, pray do my things you know really just focus grind mode we on grind mode i woke up early today we working hard let's go this is the box for today make sure you guys go ahead and shop so royalty we ship out orders every single day packages are in the back i'm gonna head to the post office now and go to the gym i'll see you right after the gym make sure you guys like comment share and subscribe it's your girl amanda see y'all in my next video bye y'all